<coughs> all this work is evolved from, from my daughter's little, uh, <laughs> uh, she was six years old. And you know, she, as most kids that work with artists, they're in the studio periodically when they're growing up and you encourage that. But uh, she's always making something and I, she glazed this one up, we put it in the kiln, I really didn't pay much attention. But when it came out, it just had this, I don't know, this, this sort of naive quality to it, but yet a real life uh, to it. And I th said, what, you know, what is it? I, I couldn't quite make it out. And she said, Dad, don't you know it's a window? It's, it's a window. And I went, duh, you're right, it's a window. And you know what this did? It brought me back after 25 years to why I think I got into ceramics to begin with. And that's the... The squishy, the feely, touchy, tactile yeah. uh, thing, the instinctual tactile thing. So all these things, even though they're, they <laughs> look looser than they actually were to make, they're a little tougher than that to make. But, uh, you know, it really brought me back to that, both in terms of the tactile quality and also the firings. They were all atmospheric firings, which potters love. They love the, I was trained as a potter and potters love that you know, fire and smoke and all that stuff going on. <laughs>